Welcome, welcome, and welcome. I am Pastor Monique Ray. I am the visionary and the founder of Gems for Christ Women's Ministry. And you can follow us via Facebook. Our Facebook timeline is Gems for Christ Women's Ministry. You can also follow us via YouTube. And our YouTube channel is Monique El Ray. And you can also follow us via FaceCloud and MixCloud. And our feed is Gems for Christ Women's Ministry. I give honor to God for God is so awesome. He's so sweet and he is so merciful. I give honor to my pastor, Apostle Designate Meredith Jordan. And I give honor to you, you and you. Thank you for joining Freedom Friday with Gems. Oh my God, how many know that now, like never before, is the time that we are truly free spiritually as well as naturally, free from any bondage that may be holding us down and may be keeping us from getting to where God wants us to be and getting us closer to God. So again, thank you for joining Freedom Friday with Gems, and I'm going to open up with prayer. Most gracious Father, I honor you, I reverence you, I adore you, I worship you, and I praise your holy name. Daddy, I ask you to forgive me for all my sins, and I just thank you. I thank you. I thank you, Yahweh. I thank you for your love. I thank you for being my daddy. Oh, I thank you for just who you are. For you are so sweet. You are so merciful. Your love supersedes all all of my expectations and all of your children's expectations. So God, I thank you. Father, as Monique decrease, let your Holy Spirit that dwells within me increase. Father God, let the word that goes forth, God, let it, Father God, empower and impact the lives of all your children, not just gems, but all of your children in this kingdom. Father God, we pray for your will and not our will so that you can be glorified. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. How many know that it's so important that we always pray the will of God and not our will? God is just so awesome. So, I'm so excited about the topic for this week, for our Freedom Friday. And God has me in the book of Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. And I am going to be reading from the first verse to the fourth verse. When thou goest out to battle against thy enemies and seest horses, and chariots, and a people more than thou. Be not afraid of them, for the Lord thy God is with thee, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And it shall be, when ye are come nigh unto the battle, that the priests shall approach and speak unto the people. And shall say unto them, Hear, O Israel, ye approach this day unto battle against your enemies. Let not your hearts faint. Fear not, and do not tremble, neither be ye terrified because of them. For the Lord your God is he that goeth with thee to fight for you against your enemies to save you. Woo! Gems, God sent me here for our Freedom Friday to let you know and to remind you 
to inspire you and to empower you to let you know victory is yours. <laughs> victory is yours. Oh my God, gems, victory is yours. Here in the book of Deuteronomy, and Deuteronomy, which is part of the first five books of the Bible, and is also the law. And it was written by Moses. And throughout this book of Deuteronomy, we see Moses is fulfilling his divinely appointed role as the great Lord giver of Israel. Here in the word of God, God was letting us know that Israel often were engaged into two types of battles. One battle was commanded and the other battle was permitted. One of them was ordered and appointed by God and the other one was, was voluntary, which was left to their own discretions. Here, Moses is writing and he's telling Israel that when they go into battle against their enemies and they see the horses and the chariots and people that are more than them, for them not to be afraid. For the Lord thy God is with them, which bring them up out of the land of Egypt. So we know that when the Israels was in the land of Egypt and Pharaoh was suppressing them and keeping them as, as slaves, that God used Moses to set the Israelites free from underneath the bondage of Pharaoh. But here in the word of God, their adversaries and other nations that came up against them they were nations that had horses and they were nations that had chariots and had masses of people. And Israelites did not have horses and they did not have chariots. And what they had was the, the army that they had was always on foot. It was soldiers who was on foot. So Moses was letting them know that when you come across nations and people that have more than you and that looks like what they're carrying and possess is bigger than yours or look like it's a mass of people that's coming up against you, a mass of nations that's coming up against you and you feel outnumbered and you feel that the numbers is in favorable of your opponent, of your the person that's in opposition with you. But Moses is letting them know, don't be afraid of the numbers. Don't be concerned with the numbers. Don't be concerned with the masses. Don't be concerned with the fact that they have horses and chariot and, and you're outnumbered. Don't be concerned about any of that because your Lord, thy God, which brought you out of Egypt, he was reminding them, look what God brought you from. Mm -hmm. You was once in a time and in, in, a, in, in a place and in a position where you never thought that you would be free, that you would never thought that you would come from underneath the hands of Pharaoh. But look what God did. God saved you and God made you free, free from bondage, free from being a slave. Gems, my God. But if you keep reading, Moses also said, and it shall be when ye are come now unto the battle that the priest shall approach and speak unto the people. God was letting the Israels know that the priests are going to prepare you for battle. Woo! The priests. Is going to prepare you for battle. Mm -hmm. The priest. And he said, For the Lord your God is he that give up, that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies. He's letting them know that this fight that you're fighting, you're not even fighting it. God is going to go 
before you, and he's going to fight on your behalf. Gems, for Freedom Friday, God sent me here to let you know that victory is yours. I don't know what you need victory from. I don't know what enemy or what Goliath is facing you. I don't know what you're up against. I don't know what's coming against you. I don't know what's coming against your mind. I don't know what's coming against your heart. I don't know what's coming against your, your peace. I don't know what is coming up against you in your life. I don't know what the enemy represents, but I do know that the enemy works on behalf and the enemy is Satan and Satan will use his army against God's children. But God sent me here to let you know, don't even worry about Satan's army. Don't even worry about Satan's tactics. Don't even worry about the, the plot and the scheme that Satan is trying. Don't even concern yourself with the devices of Satan because God has Satan underneath his control and power. But God has given us the power to speak into our situations, to speak into our circumstances. God has given us the capability to go into prayer and to intercede on behalf of ourselves, on behalf of our family, on behalf of our churches, on behalf of our communities, on behalf of the nation, on behalf of politics. God has equipped us, each one of us, to handle what Ever the enemy tries to come up against your lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't have to fight in this season. Let your fighting be your prayer life. Uh -huh. You want to defeat the enemy? Do not use carnality tactics. Uh -uh -uh -uh. You want to defeat the enemy? You're going to have to arm yourselves with spiritual warfare. You're going to have to arm yourself with spiritual tools. What is those spiritual tools? I'm so glad that you asked me. Those spiritual tools to defeat the enemy is prayer, is fasting, it's the word of God, it's praise, and it's worship. I'm going to say that again. It's prayer. It's fasting. It's the word of God. It's praise and it's worship. It confused the enemy all the time. When the enemy comes up against you, now is not the time to get into your feelings. Now is not the time to get into your flesh. Now is not the time for any of that. It is so vital and important to be focused on God. Keep your focus and your attention on God. Now is not the time for any distractions. Now is not the time for any hindrances. God said victory is yours. How are you going to obtain the victory? You're going to obtain the victory by keeping your posture aligned to the will of God, by keeping your posture aligned to the word of God, by keeping your posture aligned to the heart of God. Gems, victory is yours. Victory is yours. Moses said it right here. He said it in the 20th chapter of Deuteronomy and the fourth verse. For the Lord, your God, is he that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. God was letting the Israelites know that God is going to go with you in this fight. God is going to go with you in this fight. 
And not only is he going to go with you into battle, but he's going to do the fighting on your behalf. Mm -hmm. God is going to do the fighting on your behalf. Not you. Mm -mm. Not your feelings. Mm -mm. Not your emotions. Mm -mm. But God. Gems, Victor V is yours. We all have to go through tests, trials, tribulations. We all have to go through something. But how are we going to go through that? Are we going to go through it complaining? Are we going to go through it mumbling and grumbling? Or, or are we going to keep a posture a prayer. Are we going to keep our hearts in the right posture while we go through? Mm, I said something there. Are we going to keep our hearts in the right posture as we go through? Because let me tell you, this is the time that we have to make sure that our hearts, no matter what happens, no matter what the situation is, no matter what we go through, no matter what comes up against us, it is so important that we keep our hearts in the right posture with God. Because let me tell you something. God is doing a heart check on all of us. <laughs> mm -mm. You may look at people and say, oh yeah, God doing a heart check on them. They may look at you and say, oh, yeah, God doing a heart check on, on her. Oh, yeah, God doing a heart check on him. Let me tell, let, let me let me help y'all. Let me help y'all for Freedom Friday. Mm -hmm. God's doing a heart check on all of us. Mm -hmm. Yes. God has all of us on the potter's wheel. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. God has all of us in a testing position. Uh -huh. My test may be different than your test. Your test may be different than my test. Oh, but we all are going to be tested. We all are going to go through something. We all going to be faced with situations to see how are we going to respond. Mm -hmm. And when we give a golly response, mm -hmm, is when victory is ours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When we realize that the battle is not ours, mm -mm, but it belongs to God. Mm -hmm. When we understand how it truly works, mm -hmm. you see, Satan has to get permission to even come up against you. And who did he get it from? God. So he's already telling God what he's going to do. But God already knows what he's going to do. And what he's going to try. Who is Satan? The devil. Lucifer is Satan. And his job is to get every last one of us out of position. His job is to come against every last one of us and to kill, steal, and destroy our purpose and our destinies that God has for our lives. And that's why it's very vital and important that we stay focused on the things of God and know that as long as we're doing what God has called us to do and instructed us to do the battle, it ain't even ours. Mm -mm. It belongs to God. Anybody and anyone who will come up against the purpose, the destiny, the assignment that God has for your lives, mm -hmm. they're coming up against God. This battle is not ours. It belongs to God. But victory belongs to us. <laughs> Ooh, 
The battle belongs to God, but victory belongs to us. My God. Woo, I'm going to say that again. The battle belongs to God, but victory belongs to us. Gems, gems, gems for Freedom Friday. I don't know what tools you have been utilizing for whatever battle is coming up against your lives. But God sent me here to free you on today. And to let you know that the only tools that you need to be utilizing is prayer, fasting, the word of God, worship, and praise. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. And know that God is fighting on your behalf. And the last time that I checked, he is an undefeated champion. <laughs> the last time I checked, his report is well with my soul. <laughs> and I'm sure it's well with your soul. Because when, you, when we look back on the things that God has delivered us from, my God. The things that he has delivered us from. The struggles that we have went through. That God brought us through. Oh, the strongholds that we had to go into prayer from. Prayer and be like, God, take this. Take this from me. Um, I, I want to be free in you. My God, my God. Freedom Friday. You see, when we make up in our minds and our hearts that for God I live and for God I die, when we make up in our minds and our hearts that we don't want to live in bondage, but we want to be free, free in our minds, free in our hearts, and free in our spirits to do and be who God has called us to be, we become a big threat to the devil. His job is to stop us. Our job is to win. Gems, the battle belongs to God, but victory is ours. I don't want to take for granted that everyone that is, will be viewing this or is viewing this have a relationship with God. And after this word on today, you decided in your spirit that you want to be part of God's kingdom. Simple. Romans 10 and 9 lets us know. All we have to do is confess, in our, confess with our mouths and believe in our hearts that Jesus Christ was risen from the dead. We shall be saved. Welcome, welcome to the kingdom of God. And know that God has so much more for you. This is just the beginning of your freedom and your liberty in God. And I pray that every gift that God has placed inside of you will come forth. <laughs> ah! Ooh, and that you will be everything that God created you to be. And you will achieve everything that God created you to achieve. I would love to hear about your praise report. You can reach out to me via Facebook on Joseph Christ Timeline, or you can come down to the church. The physical church building is 85 Rockaway Avenue, Brooklyn, New York, 11233, where my pastor is Apostle Designate Meredith of Jordan, we would love to hear about your praise report. We would love to rejoice in God with you. Gems, victory is here. Mm -hmm. The battle belongs to God, but victory, it belongs to you. Continue 
to pray. Continue to seek God's face. And know that everything is working for your good. Even when it doesn't feel like it. Even when it doesn't look like it. Even when Satan tries to tell you it's not. Even when you try to tell yourself it's not. It is working for your good. Because that's just the type of God that we serve. We serve a God that uses our tests as testimonies to let and help the next person know that God did it for me and he'll do it for you. <laughs> Woo! Don't be afraid of the giants that comes up against you. Don't be afraid Know that God is going with you. And know that God is going to fight on your behalf. God is the great defender. <laughs> God is fighting for you. Even when it doesn't feel like it. God is fighting for you. Even when it doesn't look like it. Even when you sleep in. <laughs> God is still fighting on your behalf. Trust God. Trust him in every situation. Trust him in every area of your lives. I promise you, there is nothing too hard for our God. God loves to take the impossible just to prove to us that it's possible. Victory, it is yours. Walk in victory. Live in victory. Speak victory. <laughs> Rejoice in your victory. Victory is yours. God loves you. Trust the plans of God for your lives. <laughs> we are clay and he is the potter. <laughs> oh, trust me. God knows what he's doing. <laughs> Woo! God knows exactly what he is doing. Sometimes it's not that God is going to change the situation but i promise you he'll change you in the situation <laughs> god does not always change the situation oh no oh. sometimes he does sometimes he doesn't but he changes us in every situation so if you're faced with a situation that's not changing that's not true Something is changing. You are changing. How you look at it is changing. How you handle it is changing. How you respond to it is changing. Victory is yours. And know that God loves you. And I love you too. Again, thank you for joining me on today. Pastor Monique Ray. I am the visionary and the founder of Gems for Christ, Women's Ministry. And thank you for joining in for our Freedom Friday with Gems. Everyone, be blessed. Know that God loves you and I love you too. And victory is yours.